what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching paid to drive and paid to drive vlogs presented by paid to drive store.com links down below if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications with that little bell to the right so you're always up to date whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind real quick, hit that like button down below. It takes two seconds and it just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. It's free. And leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump right into the topic, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style. And here we go. Okay, so let me just give a monstrous disclaimer on this video here. What I'm going to say to you is, it's more of a question. It's more of something like a what if kind of a thing or a theory or whatever you wanna call it, okay? So we know in recent years, a lot of people have been in and out of the gig economy through all these apps, DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, but let's just focus on DoorDash for today, okay? Like we usually do. A lot of people, thousands, have come through my channel, leaving comments, emails, messages, and whatnot, and the majority of people just tend to seem like they're upset in general with like how the gig economy works, how DoorDash treats people, and rightfully so in many ways, right? They say DoorDash doesn't do enough for us. DoorDash needs to do more things to help out the drivers. So my question would be, what if, DoorDash just gave everyone like $500, right? Let's say you do, you know, 500 deliveries, a thousand deliveries or whatever, and you maintain a certain, uh, you know, acceptance rating or something. I don't know, you know, kind of like a top dasher thing. And they say, you know what? Every month we will give you an extra $500 just for maintaining a certain acceptance rate or whatever. They've done stuff like this with little, with programs and bonus structures that they've done. But what if it was something more consistent? That's what I want to know. Would something like that intrigue all of you to work harder or to accept lower paying deliveries? Because in my opinion, I think it's better when you are making all the decisions for yourself, cherry picking to your till your heart's content. Now you might say, well, Pete, they've been pausing people like crazy. They've been ending dashes like crazy. And that is all true. And it's extremely aggravating, all right, for everybody. That didn't exist years ago. The pausing thing has only been out within what, the last year or so? Okay, I think it started in the summer or like August of 2021, depending on whenever you're watching this video. Um, so that's my question. What if DoorDash gave everybody $500 extra per month, okay, that maintained a certain acceptance rate, you know, because basically what it is, is DoorDash is upset that we cherry pick, even though we're allowed to, which is why the pausing started. And they can't force people to tip. I've always said, just raise the base pay, make it a static $5, and then everybody's happy. Okay, and also put that in the comments. What do you feel a static every order should be? I think $5 is cool, plus tip. That no matter what order, $5 or more, okay? So that means the two, three, and $4 payouts no longer exist. They just wipe those out completely. I would be in favor of that over just the $500 thing because now you're making your own decisions and at least you know Every hour, the average dasher or driver delivers at least two to like three orders per hour, depending on your market. Every market is different, okay? But then at least you know you're making a minimum of 10 bucks an hour, okay? There's no such thing as making under 10 bucks, even though I know it's not minimum wage and everything, but you get what I'm saying? So in the comments section or in the chat, however you're watching this, put down below, would you rather a higher base pay or like $500 every month for maintaining like a top dasher status kind of thing. Or if they just made that part of being a top dasher, how, what would you prefer? A higher base pay? Or if you had to choose a higher base pay, like five bucks, or like that $500 like top dasher thing? Let me know down below in the comments. This was just something I was thinking about and I wanted to just ask everyone and get your thoughts and opinions on it because DoorDash has to do something, man. 
you know, they got to try and change something to, to make dashers a little happier. I understand, you know, whatever they're trying to keep the cost low for the customer. But again, we use our own vehicles. We're independent contractors and we're beating the hell out of our cars to deliver these orders and just to have ungrateful customers, you know, get us deactivated for fraud. You know what I mean? Like that they're causing. So let me know your thoughts down below. Hit that like and all that stuff. And of course, if any of you guys out there ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, an article, whatever you got, send me an email, paidtodrivestories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive that link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment just scroll down this page or on your phone and um anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you is i give you guys shout outs in all my new videos plus other perks so i'm going to do that right now when you hear your name called say hey pete i heard my name we have our tier five driver ron grubb followed by john birchfield david moore Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Sean Gibson, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, April Jewup, uh, Alan G. Van Horn, Nick Gilroy, Drew Hanor, Todd Rosemanith, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Chadra Cowell, Brian Richardson, Kayla Quintero, Candace Mitchell, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, Rebecca Swenson, and Melody Longs. So huge shout outs to every single one of you. Really appreciate all of you, of course. So yeah, if you guys want to sign up on Patreon, links are down below. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be one of you. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see if we can get three more patrons. And with that being said, moving right along, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is in the description or the pinned top comment down below. As always, click on the link that says Get the Free Gas App. When you do that, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you use. And then from there, you just go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your referral code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links down below. Go check it out. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And of course, moving on to the final thing here, paytodrivestore.com. That's presenting my video here, today, my own website. We have lots of awesome merch that you guys can check out. We have brand new designs, colors, sizes, whatever whatever you probably want, we probably got at paytodrivestore.com. Just go check it out. See if there's anything you like on there. All the prices are super low. Links are down below in the description of the pin top comment. Check it out. See if there's something you like. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. Leave a comment saying end 647. E-N-D-647. Come on. I didn't see you do it. Leave a comment. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit the free red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications with the little bell to the right so you're always updated whenever I post something new. You'll always be first to know. And if you guys haven't yet, go subscribe to my other channel, Team PTD, like Team Paid to Drive. Uh, do a YouTube search or the links are in the description or pinned top comment. Uh, if you like the content here, you'll like the content there. So hit that red subscribe button, tap the bell, hit the like button over here. Uh, it just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. It's free. It takes half a second. And leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, everybody, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Take care.